The following program is intended for a mature audience. Viewer discretion is advised. This I've got to see. It's worth watching, so stay tuned. Happy Monday, March 1st, 2021. Petrovsky, Sierra, Sergio, Sierra. Good to see you, gentlemen. Ian's frozen sunglasses. His sunglasses picture. Well, can you see in your, what's in the reflection of the sunglasses? Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> it's hard to tell. If anyone can figure out what's in the reflection of Ian's sunglasses, if it's a beautiful woman on the beach, then zoom in. Damn it, but now we can't see. Good to see you, Ian. Yeah, buddy. Steve's here. Steve's chicken wings are here. Richard's here. Patrick, Jason Bradford. <laughs> Stat is here to teach. JT is here. Love to see you, gentlemen. I want to honor uh, Rob Piotrowski, Andy Malloy, and Jason Bradbury for leading the show last week. I so appreciate you guys. You're phenomenal. We had a chance to work on our what? We have got a book, a YouTube advertising campaign. We've got a digital product coming out. We've got a year long, <laughs> a year long uh, four retreats coming out. We've got a new relaunch going. What else? You've got a new sex class coming up. Yeah, that's. That's probably most of it. I don't know. We do a lot of, we did a lot of stuff. Support the guys. Ian's muscles are here. Ian's trying to get muscles are here. <laughs> That's how you say it in Spanish, right? Muscles. That's how I say it. <laughs> this, is, this is Miss Cynthia Cruz, the only woman allowed in this show for her professional feminine perspective. Cynthia and I have been in private practice for going on five years now, working with men literally all over the world. Love to see you. Ian's here from Spain, guys from all over the country. Patrick's not here. Oh, yeah, yes, there he is. Patrick's here from New Zealand. Patrick's our OG. He was here since day one. We have to count how many weeks it's been. You know how many weeks it's been, Cynthia? I, I don't know. I, yeah. All I know is that April 5th is going to be the one year. That's right. One year mark. That's right. You mentioned that. Yeah. yeah. So I, I love it. She's here to mark time. That's a, that's a big topic we should talk about is how to mark time in your relationship on a mark time in your life. Well, thanks for being here. I appreciate it. Thanks that. for having me. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Looks like Matt just came in. Good to see you guys. Let's get this started. We've got a lot today. We've got more Zan period today. We've got uh, our theme of these next two weeks are the lover energy. So there's king, warrior, magician, lover, and we're gonna work our way backwards, lover, magician, warrior, king, over the next two months. That's gonna segue into one of our courses that we're putting together that it's gonna take us a couple months to put that together. That's a part of our year long program we're working on. Um, I'm working on that with Zen, Ma Sven, Zen, Zen, Sven, something like that rhymes with Zen. Sven Masterson, not his real name, it's his pen name, I'm jealous. I have to come up with a pen name. What was it? Uh, <laughs> Zeus Thundercock. I think it was my pen name. <laughs> I think I brought that up about six months ago. I forgot about that. Zeus, <laughs> Zeus Thundercock. I got to work on that one. I don't. I don't have a. Uh, I don't have a brand image for that yet, Piotrowski. I got to work on that. <laughs> one. <laughs> exactly. Um, I'll, I'll have to show you later. I, I found a way to make my phoenix fly on my logo, dude. It's no badass. shit. You yeah, and I got the wings Bradbury of pushing my graphics. Yeah. <laughs> I did figure out how to use OBS, Bradbury. I'm going to save it until next week, though. I've got, yeah, I've got the Phoenix retreat this week with Dennis Collins in Phoenix, Arizona. It's an advanced <laughs> pistol defense retreat, and there's going to be guys that are bringing ARs and things. We're going to go shoot in the desert. So it's half men's work, a half shooting. I'm taking my 17-year-old son with us as well. That's going to kick ass. He's been doing Instagram work for us. That's another thing. We're starting to get into Instagram, IGTV. <laughs> no idea like hey 17 year old help me out with this oh yeah oliver close off just came in let's go ahead and get this started love you guys here we go for those of you that haven't been here every single day like a lot of you love you guys cynthia does her sexcapade spot about uh 45 minutes into the show cynthia sexcapade spot today make her feel you want you wait for you again and again is she, is she unzipping or zipping uh <laughs> she's waiting Oh, she's, she's waiting. Like, she's like, do you want me to unzip more or do you want me to re-zip? Wait a minute. She doesn't have any underwear on. 
uh, I have not seen this picture before. <laughs> it's the like forgetful thing. Sometimes you just forget. Oh, yes. I darn it. I hate it when <laughs> a woman forgets to put forgets to put on panties. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Uh, okay. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> make her feel you want you wait for you again and again. That's going to be a Cynthia sexcapade spot today. We talk about so many things in this show. We talk about our daily war plan, the kingly plan, the morning kingly plan, three forms of confidence. Let's let's jump into our staircase of courage question today. So if you're not a uh, deep sea crab fisherman right now, I want you to answer this question. I looked up all the dangerous jobs in the world and deep sea crab fishermen's like what? Top two, top, I think uh, lumberjack was the top number one dangerous job in the world. So if you're not being, if you're not uh, chopping down a tree right now, go and answer this question. <laughs> Tell us a personal win you had this weekend. So punch us into the chat right now. I do a staircase of courage question every day. And this is where you do uh, audience participation. And this is where I put my thumb on you. I put my thumb on the scale and jump you into the day, day, jump you into the week, jump you into your personal work, either flushing out a shadow or acknowledging a win in your life. And this week, we're going to talk about the shadow of the lover, the addicted child or the addicted lover, I should say, and the impotent lover. And also what it means to be a phenomenal pinnacle lover as well from Moore and Gillette's book, King Warrior Magician Lover. So let's start with a win. Tell us a personal win you had this weekend. Punch that into the chat. Here we go, let's jump back. I've got a video about, uh, so there, if, if you guys don't know real, really fast, Carl Jung created the framework for the four masculine archetypes, King, Warrior, Magician, Lover. And there's an immature version, the boyhood version, and there's the mature version, the manhood, the man version, right? The growing into the mature man. And one piece of the immature boy that within us that becomes more of the impotent lover, the not knowing what to do, the nice guy, thinking that if we just abdicate all of our own wants, that everything will work out. Well, that starts, some of that starts with being a mama's boy, right? We're raised by women. Some of us didn't have a father figure around. We had, you know, nine out of 10 female teachers. And we were told to be a nice boy and be kind and for her to never feel uneasy in the world. Well, start, that starts with the mama's boy or another way that Jung puts it is the Oedipal child. And so I've got a video today about the Oedipal child. We'll get into that. Yeah, so go ahead and punch into the chat a win from this weekend. That's from our staircase of courage question today. And let's go and jump into a what would you do from the forum. To the men, I had a few drinks with my wife tonight on the sofa while watching some old eighties movies. I felt like going in for the kiss and trying to lead her to the bedroom, but then I decided to pull back and do nothing for fear of rejection. I've lost all judgment in reading the signs, and after all given, she has felt I was needy in the past. So after all that I gave, she felt I was needy in the past. She should come to me, right? I'm also reluctant to have a conversation with her about our relationship as I don't want to pressure her. And yes, I'm still in the guest room. Pulling back is a struggle. Should I continue to keep my distance and work on myself with the hope she'll eventually come to me for intimacy and show some affection? When you work on yourself, let me just start with this premise. When you work on yourself, you're not hoping she'll eventually come to you for intimacy and show affection. Those are two different things. And it's, it's okay to have hope, but you're not working on yourself in the hope of the outcome that she comes to you for affection. I mean, that's where all of us come to this work, right? That's where I came to this work. That's where most of us come to this work is, all right, if I can fix this, let me fix this. If I can be the man that I wasn't, then she'll love me forever. And it'll all be, you know, unicorns and fucking lucky charm rainbows, right? If I just fix it. <laughs> Steve likes lucky charms. Look at that. See? They're good. <laughs> <laughs> they are good. That was very cute. I said that. They are good. So what would you do? I can pick on Bradbury and Petrowski. They're two of our coaches. And Andy Malloy. Andy Malloy's not here today. He's the third coach that works with Cynthia and myself. So should he cut? Should he approach her? Uh, he felt like he wanted to come on to her on the couch, but he did nothing in fear of rejection. He's lost all judgment of the signs. She felt he was needy, even though he was a nice guy in the past, like gave her everything is code for nice guy, right? Thinking I could give her everything that would work out. Should I continue to keep my distance and work on myself? and like cross my fingers and hope she'll eventually come to me for intimacy. And so show some affection. If you want, I'll touch on it a bit. Yeah, Petrowski, go for it. 
Yeah. Last week, we, we kind of covered the no contact rule and does it work? And this is kind of applies to that. And we talked about if you use the no contact rule as a tactic, you're just going to screw yourself in the long run. You want to separate yourself to take the time to yourself to grow. Is what we talked about work on your confidence, work on your insecurities, work on your values and boundaries. In, in the uh, area of the rejection, he's got to get over that fear of rejection also. To watch the rest of this episode for free and other episodes, go to greatmenmovemountains.com slash VIP. Punch in your info and watch the rest for free. Get more affection, love, and sex in your marriage. Get less paralyzing fear and rejection. Never miss an episode. Watch anytime, anywhere, 3 a.m. on the toilet. Get full episodes. GreatMenMoveMountains.com forward slash VIP. The C-Note Show.